Hey, thank you for coming. I got a real short one today. I think it's going to be short, but um, I got a message. Today was my mother's birthday, and something came through just as we was closing out the day, and I just wanted to share it with somebody. Um, this is for somebody who I'm, I'm feeling like in the recent past lost a parent, right? Like, and still in some pretty fresh grief, right? Um, I was saying that it's a mother or it feels like a mother to me because that's the energy I was in when the message came through. But I'm thinking it could be a father and you'll see once, once I get into the message. So um, I wrote it down as best I could, but I'm just going to go ahead and read you what I got and then I'll break it down a little bit. But um, basically the message was saying that this parent grieves when you grieve or, or yeah, they're grieving because you're grieving, right? Um, so we are suffering together, but I can suffer with you no longer, but I still offer my comfort and support. In these words is saying, um, my child, you are approaching an opportunity or a string of opportunities or multiple opportunities. The opportunity is not for you and it is not your opportunity. It is the culmination of multiple lifetimes of sacrifice and misfortune. It is the realization of an inheritance that goes far beyond what you can understand, but is due in full at this time in your life. Um, it also says, okay, um, there's a timeline of events set in motion that will seem to effortless, effortlessly guide you through. Um, we are on this ride, and they're, they're saying on the other side, we are on this ride with you and back up every choice, decision, and step you take. You are the commander of an army of souls. The army is presented in your opportunities is opp opposition or competition. Um, and this relative wants you to know, mother or father, that your competition, your ops, or anybody you think you're coming up against or that you have to defend yourself against, that those, those people or those energies will bow before you because their representatives on the other side are, and this is this is where I get a little tongue tied, but their representatives on the other side are a part of your mother's army, right? So something that was orchestrated and um what do you call it like strategized like it was it was strated this was strategized from a long time ago or it was manipulated through time right to show up or to um start manifesting in your life at this time right you're not the one you're not the only one who reaps the benefits of this. It would be everybody in your mother's army, right? Which are, there's, I want to say they're related, but they may not necessarily be blood relatives. They may be related through lifetimes and lifetimes of this sort of strategizing that's gone through that's been that these energies have gone through to bring this to bring about this set of opportunities or um like it's it's not just opportunity that's that's what I'm saying it's like something was be, something's being accomplished right by all of these opportunities that are being presented to you and it's it's not about what the opportunity represents to you as it looks like this goes way back 
in your generations. It goes way back in your lifetimes and it goes it covers more than just you and your ancestral lines and it covers more than just one family as far as ancestry as far as um ancestry and all that. So I hope all that made sense. I'm gonna pull a few cards just to see if I get anything else. <clears throat> but um yeah, that was I was like, how am I going to put this in words? Hold on just a moment. There we go. Lakshmi. And she is in reverse here for me. Hold on. Okay, look at that. Lakshmi, this card, or this goddess, this is the modern goddess oracle. And Lakshmi is, her keyword is prosperity. Her symbol is lotus bud, elephant, or gold coins. Affirmation, I receive prosperity and abundance now. Let's see here. She is the Hindu goddess of wealth, love, and prosperity, both material and spiritual. Her name means both to observe and to aim. Hold on. Okay, here's the shadow meaning because this card is in reverse, right? There are times in our lives when the flow of abundance is headed away from us or stagnant. This ranges from having a bad month financially to being flat out broke. There are also times when we hold on so tightly to the wealth and blessings we have that we become greedy. If you have received Lakshmi in the shadow, you are being asked to check in with where you are where you are at with your relationship and beliefs around money and prosperity. You can control your attitude and beliefs about prosperity, even if you are currently in a tight spot money-wise. Okay. So, hold on. So, basically, Lakshmi is a positive card up, up, upside down or right side up. But this is saying that I'm, I'm taking it as in reverse for me. It's basically saying that money might be tight or you may feel like something's not going right. And with this situation, I would relate it to possibly just being down. Like if you're if you just lost somebody, you may still be grieving and when your heart is in that area obviously you're not going you know it doesn't matter what's going on good in your life you're not going to look at it as good right now right but that's that we're going to pull one from this is this is the awakened soul i expect to get a good card from this one look at that gift Give me one for this situation. This is the bad bitches deck. I hadn't used it in so long. With this Queen of Wands out here, 
I'm looking at this like it could be that there's an opposition here, right? There's an opposition between possibly a feminine and a, a masculine energy or two feminines. But whatever it is, it's 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 a it's between two opposites, right? Two polar opposites. Two of cups. Look at that. So I'm taking this to be a competition between a man and a woman. But there's gonna be a compromise, it looks like. With the two of cups here. So basically with all these cards, okay, we got gift. It's like a little girl is getting a look at that. You're being guided, right? So I'm looking at this like this mythical lady, this uh mythical mermaid is giving a little girl a child. A gift. The gift is a crown. It looks like a crown, right? It was clarified by the guide, right? So I feel like somebody's being guided into. No, not being guided into a sovereign position. You're already in a sovereign position. You're just, you're being strengthened to, to own it right now. Like, there's no more, when I say, like, I'm, I'm looking at this card and I don't want to go against what I'm seeing, but I feel like this is saying that you are already this queen or this king. You just, you're not presenting it. But you're going to, it's time to present it, right? Then we got Lakshmi. This is wealth. And then we've got this um, competition, this opposition, this sort of defensive compromise, right? So... I'm not going to pull anymore, but that's what I'm seeing here. It just looks like, yes, you're being guided, or you have been being guided. You already know what to do. You just have to do it. And with Lakshmi here in reverse, it's like you may be hesitant about making bold moves in the face of this confident competition. So the competition is strong. But you need to, like, put your best foot forward. And the whole time that I was getting this message, I just kept seeing somebody just making taking steps like one step after another not knowing what you're going to do next but still putting one foot in front of the other and stepping strong into a sort of um a, a stepping into it not not a battle but um just like any something that would normally make you nervous right something that would normally make you nervous you still got the nerves, but you're still walking straight into it, right? And you're going to handle it. That's what it needs. The message from the ancestor is saying that the opposition, so I'm looking at this King of Swords as your confident opposition or um, whoever you're up against. That person's relatives or their ancestral line 
is a part of your mother or grandmother's uh, army on the other side, right? So the way I'm the way I look at it is like your mother or grandmother has like literally an army behind her, you know, an army of souls behind her. Everybody who blocks your way, like everybody like while you're stepping into this you know unsure moment one foot in front of the other just go and go and you know while you're stepping one foot in front of the other anybody that steps in front of you all you have to do is like I want to say all you have to do is tell them to move but you just have to make a move if your move is just to take another step to move past them or around them they will bow before you and I'm and you know that might not even be the move just to, to step around them you might have to say get out of my way or excuse me you know you don't have you know we're not sending you to, to battle here it's just you need to know that there's this timeline of events that is set up strategically for you to walk through and as you're walking through it, you will encounter obstacles. These obstacles will be confident people. And all you have to do is show confidence. Like stand your ground, but basically it's just saying, like, I feel like it's saying, get on a level. Show confidence. And they will disappear like they they will then be a part of your army honestly like your mother or grandmother is pulling the strings so their ancestors are telling them or conducting them or commanding them out of your way because this is already like it's already in motion like this has been in motion moving chess pieces for many lifetimes um or over like over the course of many lifetimes or over uh the course of many generations or um yeah something like that so i hope it makes sense but yeah i just wanted to get that off me and um thank you for watching like and subscribe have a good night